Hello everyone, my name is Robbie Connect, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how running and jogging is not exercise. I'm going to be referencing from the book Body by Science by Doug McGuff, MD, and John Little. I'm going to first start off by reading the definition in the book of what exercise is. Quote, the important distinction is that exercise is purposefully directed activity that stimulates the body to produce a positive adaptation in one's level of fitness and health. The key little chunk there is stimulates the body to produce a positive adaptation. Moving on to the next page, page four, uh, I have a pretty lengthy quote, so bear with me. Quote, page four, thousands of activities are popularly thought of as exercise, ranging from walking and running to calisthenics, weight training, and yoga. However, many of these activities do not qualify as exercise by our definition either because they are inefficient at stimulating the mechanical and metabolic adaptations necessary to benefit the fitness and to a large extent the health of our bodies or because their continued performance results in an undermining of bodily health. It is for this later reason that we must conclude that we must exclude activities such as jogging and running from being considered as exercise. This determination may be upsetting to some particularly those who run or jog. But the hard truth is that those who select running as their modality of exercise are taking a huge risk. Studies have documented that 60% of runners are injured in an average year, with one running injury occurring for every 100 hours of performance. To kind of go into the next little paragraph, the damage caused by running will often manifest after a period of 15 to 20 years of performing the activity. Kind of what this means to me is that exercise is a activity that stimulates the body and when you're running and jogging, you're not really stimulating the body. There's not this like burst of stimulation. It's just a steady state movement. If you continue to do that over and over and over again, that constant pounding on the cement. And also too, another side with running and jogging is most of the time if I'm seeking to run and jog, it was to one, I wanna lose weight, well, then the question comes in, is running and jogging the best way to actually lose weight? And I would say no. The best way to lose weight is to build muscle mass because muscle costs more than fat does. So the more muscle you have, the more fat and more calories you're burning just by sitting down. Another reason I would go running or jogging is for that, uh, that little euphoria that I get. The runner's high is what it's called. Well, I could get that same runner's high by just going on an a easy walk multiple times throughout the day. So usually I would do it like after I get done eating so I don't feel all lethargic and I kind of feel a little bit energized. If one of the reasons I would try to convince myself to run is because of that euphoria, the runner's high, well, there's a better way to do it to get that euphoria runner's high and it's just for, by walking. And walking, I'm causing a, le a lot less damage and strain on my joints than I am on running. There you have it. That's why you should stop running and jogging. Go pick up the book, Body by Science by Doug McGuff, MD, and John Little. Uh, you can read for yourself why you should stop running and jogging. If you're seeking to try to just lose weight and think running's the best option, try to build muscle mass instead. If you're going for that runner's high, you can get the same thing by walking. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you now understand what exercise is. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Love you. Bye.